Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be looking at probably the most highly requested player in the history of my YouTube channel. And that's because I still haven't done him. He's probably one of the first ones I ever got reacted, re requested to do. But it just hasn't happened yet. And you know what? Today is the day we're finally going to look at... We're finally going to look at... Steve Smith Sr. Agent Smith, is it? Well, Agent Steve Smith. Yeah, anyways, look. You guys know. I don't. But we're going to look at it. We'll look at him. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... So let's look at Steve Smith. <laughs> no, not that Steve Smith. Steve Smith Sr. There he is. A football life. Steve Smith Sr., Agent 89. I reckon that would most likely have to be the video we're going to watch. And... Do I... No, you know what? Joseph Vincent's videos do tell a bit, a bit of a story. It's not just highlights. So you know what? I'm not going to look up any stats. I'm not going to look up any... You know, any of his backstory. I'm just going to watch this video and enjoy it. Steve Smith Sr. I have not seen him. I haven't... Watched him, nothing. All I know is that he is Agent 89. Agent 89. Sounds like something from Inspector Gadget or something. You know what, man? <laughs> I do, I do have. No, no, fuck it. No, no, no. He's, playing again. Third down and ten. And it up. He's a wide receiver, obviously. So he lines up on the right and the left. You need somebody who's looking to fight. Devontae Davis. Oh, he wanted to say something, Devontae Davis, the worst way. Please understand who you're listening to when you hear this sound bite. Steve Smith means what he says. No! This is some dude. No! no. no. He he he's is. not playing. Last week it was Xavier Rhodes. This week it was Janora Jenkins. What's your message to these young DBs who want to keep talking with you? That's gonna be the first <laughs> two and a half quarter. The rest of the game, Richard Sherman yeah. and Steve Smith are gonna be going at it. He might have a, a, an altercation to the defensive back. That's kind of how he rolls. <laughs> Get up, man! Sick the wizard in there, that wrestling move. Yeah, he's John with Steve Smith here. Never a good idea. Jamoris Jenkins. Obviously, uh, his first time ever using the internet with Google. And he Googles uh, information about me. Janoris Jenkins, I would be telling him if I'm his coach, look, you are not going to win this battle. And there's a certain line. <laughs> are you allowed to do that? Cross that line. He's got Janoris Jenkins thinking more about what he's going to say. Hey, don't hold him. Smith, how he's going to cover him. Talks about my wife and stuff like that. And um, that's, that's kind of some of the bull I just don't play with. Steve Smith doesn't play that game. So he doesn't want it played with him. Steve Smith, one on one. Jenkins, the guy he's been Bang! Bang! 
Take off the lift. See ya. Oh! Oh! Still got work to do. Does it anyway. And the Steve Smith show I love the soundtracks that Joseph Vincent puts in here, man. So watch the thing, because that's, I don't play them games. And if I see him on the street, I'm going to bust him in his mouth. What? Back to St. Louis and watch the thing. So he can take his ass back to, uh, who is that? Is this Steve Smith? I, I, I actually, I don't know if this is Steve Smith or not. I'm gonna have to look at him. Or is he talking? About, no, that is Steve Smith. All right, you're gonna bust his ass, are you? All right. Because that's I don't play them games. If I see him in the street, I'm gonna bust him in his mouth. Oh. Steve Smith's legacy is gonna be maybe the greatest competitor. In the game. He's not going to stay up. <laughs> what the fuck? Those that had a chance to touch him, to be a part of him, are better for him. Whoa! Bang! Fucking hell. What a game for Steve Smith. He stays up on his feet. At age 35, he's still a little dynamo. That's a slap in Fuck, he was still killing it at 35. Great competitor. You love his mindset, how he competes. Oh, Lord, the shoulder and gets <laughs> The best there is as far as blocking for all the wide receivers. And they got a piece of Vaughn Miller right there. Agent 89. Steve Smith, Akeem Tlaib, because both are talking a lot of smack. Akeem Tlaib. It's a lot different than playing angry like I used to play. Looking for things, looking for uh, altercations. That's a 15 yard flat. And you see what Bill Belichick just did to Akeem Tlaib. Come over here and sit with me. That's not the Patriot way. That's not how this franchise operates. He needs to cool it. He's too good a football player. Right now, Steve Smith is getting the best of the key to lead. Yeah, the problem for the Patriots is that Smith's not only winning the war of the words, he's speaking louder with his action. It was like a 12-round prize fight. Ooh! Yeah, Smith probably got the best of this one. Wow. You like totally psychologically like a nightmare. What happened between you and Tulane about the field running the game? I don't know. You're going to ask him because he didn't finish the game. Ice up, son. Ice up. How about that concentration by Steve Smith and getting both feet down? Now the deep for Smith. There's plenty of opportunities he had to quit on the Carolina Panthers. It's all full of they were and what they exposed him to. I give him the quarterback to work with him. How in God's name could I'm getting started with Jake Delon and others? Okay. He doesn't he doesn't want that tall. Oh. The Panthers have officially cut Steve Smith. Place and drag. <laughs> I just look at them right now and like I ask myself, how in God's name could you even think that getting rid of Steve Smith was a good thing for Cam Newton? Steve Smith is just get off me. Your very eyes getting old at age 35. 80 yards. Baltimore with its first lead on a stunning turn of events. Points of order. Over the last three seasons, Steve Smith's catches, yards, decline, decline, decline. Think I can't play? You're gonna find out week four. I looked at their schedule. I didn't know what week, but I knew the Panthers were on that schedule. On Twitter, Steve Smith oh, said he plays the Panthers. Up against his old team. Put your goggles on, because it's gonna be blood and guts everywhere. Woo -hoo! Let's go. Can still take guys lunch money. Because he's an exceptional route runner, but more importantly, he 
He's an elite coach. Come on, show them. And when I look show at him, them. he's exactly what the Baltimore Ravens needed. He fits their mold. And that's, you know, that's a characteristic Steve Smith's had his entire career. After first contact. Bang! I Makes the first man miss. Stiff arm! Any sleep about how Steve Smith is going to return to wreak revenge on them. Just give it to Smith, will ya? Oh! Oh, yes! It was scripted! Business. We all know that. So why did you feel like that release from Panthers was so first? Put on your goggles because blood and guts are going to be spilled in your stadium. Is fighting father time. Get there. That's what I'm talking about. Steve Smith Sr. This is your nail in middle coffin. You're dead. Take your ass back to Carolina. Make sure you mow my lawn too while you're out there. That is who Steve Smith is. That is who he has been throughout his career. He went up against Steve Smith in your days in Tampa. And no, you're not really thrilled to see number 89 on the field. Oh, I never liked Steve <laughs> Smith. He has over 11,000 and 3,000. He's definitely got the. Um, his durability has been impressive over the years. What a day he's had. Seven catches. What do you call it? 39 yards, two touchdowns. Place and drag. Tony Tote. You must have forgot mm -hmm. who I am and yeah. what I bring to the table. Sick. But now, now we have to look at his uh, his stats here. Stevon Latrell Smith Sr. played 16 seasons, primarily with Carolina. Should have made him a one-team player, but hey, that's just my opinion. <laughs> So he played for the Panthers from 2001 to 2013 and the Ravens from 14 to 16. That is a huge career. Five foot nine, so he wasn't huge, but he had a 4.39 40 yard dash. And nearly 40 inches in vertical jump. That's insane. He was the third, he was, he was the tip, sorry, he was the third pick, no, he was the 74th pick in round number three of the 2011 draft. So Smith was released by the Panthers on March 13th, 2014. Went to the Ravens and had three more seasons. He had a total of 219 games. That's got to be up, up near the fucking highest ever. Most games in NFL history. What? 382 games? Morton Anderson, hol oh, Anderson, holy shit. How many games? 219. He is equal 143rd of all time. Equal with Terrell Owens, John Randall, and others. Fucking legend, eh? So in his last season, he played 14 games, started all of them, had 799 receiving yards, which is not too bad, five touchdowns. He had 81 total career touchdowns, which is, you know, compared to like the likes of Jerry Rice, I guess, I guess it's not huge, but he's not six foot five, he's five foot nine. No Super Bowls. Damn. That would have been nice. Anyways, guys, that was, that was my look at Steve Smith Sr. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I probably haven't seen too many of his highlights, although I do know, fuck, I knew he had pace, and I knew he was a ruthless player, so I guess that's pretty much all I need to take out of this. So, look guys, if you have liked this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do, and I'll see you back here for another video very soon.